Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-innovation.com. So in the last two lectures, we discussed about what is Cypress. We also discussed how to download and configure Cypress in Windows 10. Now let's understand some structure of Cypress because before uh, moving, you should understand the folder structure, the different files it has, different configuration it has, so that it will be easy for you to understand what to modify and when to modify, right? So we have seen all this so let's start with this test runner and then once it is done then we'll move to this cypress folder structure so if you're comfortable already maybe you can skip this video but i would recommend if you watch this video till then because obviously you'll get something new out of this video so the first thing that you need to see is the folder okay you can see the integration test right so by default the moment you install cypress cypress comes with uh, so many examples you can see the first folder is getting started second folder is advanced examples so these are some examples which cypress has provided but if you want you can delete them and you can start from the scratch so the moment you make any changes to this integration folder it will list down here okay you can change this you can change that i don't want this from integration folder i want from other folder you can change in the configuration which i will show you so this is exactly your, all the tests it will show here, okay? If you want to run them, just click on this and it will run on the selected browser. So right now, uh, we have four options, Chrome, Firefox, Edge, Electron. So it depends on which browser is selected, the moment you click on this, it will start. Now, the question comes, how we are getting all these four browsers? Can we customize them? Can we add them or remove them? I will show you. So if you see this option, collapse all and expand all, if you want to search some tests, you can search from here. Suppose I want to search hello or any specific test, I can search from here. Now, if you notice this run tab, the moment you click on run tab, so basically this is your dashboard service. Okay. So um, if you remember when I showed you the Cypress official website, right, it was showing some pricing part. So this pricing part is for the dashboard. So if you want to take advantage of dashboard service, so some plans are free and some are paid. So depends on your need you can go for the dashboard service. Now this is very important, which is settings. Okay. So the moment you open this configuration, you can see a couple of configurations, right? So this is the main default configuration which Cypress has. If you want to change any of this configuration, you can do that easily. So you can see, uh, we can do this configuration with the help of config file. So which is using cypress.json file environment file you can do use it you can also override them from the environment variable suppose if you want to override them through a cli argument that is also allowed and using a plugin file what is this plugin file i will show you if you come back to cypress structure you will see something called plugins right here we have index.json uh, index.js file so you can do this from here as well now I want to show you a couple of uh, default configurations. So if you see the base URL is set to null, so, but if you change this base URL, you can start using within your test and you can see we have uh, Chrome Web Security to true. What is this? We will see a uh, component folder, which is under Cypress component. This is the important part, default command timeout that if some commands are not working by default is set to force thousand millisecond which is four second you can change this as well by default the download folder will be its cypress downloads which does not have but once you have it will go to this folder okay and uh, in a similar way this is the main part integration folder is set to cypress integration which is this which you can change obviously in a similar way screenshot will go under screenshots folder plugin file will go under this folder similar way if you have videos, it will go under Cypress videos. Everything you can override depends on your need. How to override them? As I showed, we have multiple options. So depends on the requirement, we will modify in the upcoming videos. And this is one of the most important part called retries. Okay, if you have been into test automation, then you must be familiar that test automation fails very often, right? Sometimes depends, uh, Okay, it could be network issue, it could be the application is very slow or it could be any other random issue, right? It's not always the application have issue. Sometimes uh, various factors involves in the test failure. So when you give this retry, it will automatically 
retry if your test is getting failed okay so again this retries have run mode open mode so we'll see what is the difference between run mode and open mode and if you want to overwrite this how we can do that by default it's set to zero zero it means it will not give a retry if your test fails it will fail okay a screenshot on failure is set to true so automatically it will take screenshots and all these other configurations and if you see these browsers right so these browsers as you can see now chrome firefox edge and electron right and if you open them you can see the name family channel display name which version where from where it is picking uh, you know picking up this chrome.exe and other details as well finally the host configuration file in the testing type so these are the default configuration which cypress is using okay and we will verify them when we start writing our test and these are some other details like node versions so right now i'm using 14.18.0 latest is 16. Dot something this is the node.js path and a couple of other details proxy we don't have any proxy right now file opener uh, preferences so you can set this preference like in which a uh, file you want to open this right now it's set to visual code it means whenever i will open any file it will open by default in visual code and this is one of the experiment feature which personally i have not tried but if you have time please go through this experiments tab and let me know if you find something useful here okay apart from this these all three tabs are done support uh, the moment you click on support it will navigate you to uh, let me show you click on support it is opening which browser i will say google and yeah so it's opening support page from cypress where you will get a couple of links like documentation frequently asked question currently what bugs they have and the community options okay chat and a stack overflow so take advantage of this support uh, like community because if you are trying out first time then definitely you will be facing a couple of issues and other people also must have faced the same issues so they must have uh, posted in the stack overflow so instead of you know searching in different places take the advantage of this community now coming back to uh, documentation is very clear that uh, if you want to get started some references like best practices configuration apis now this is api i personally want you to explore one by one because this will open up your mind and you will understand how cypress is using each and every command what parameter it takes how to use the cypress apis which is cypress commands what parameters to pass and what will be the return type etc so um, anyways i will show you a couple of libraries which we will be using for our course but if you have obviously different requirements you might need different apis so this api tab or the apis which they have will help you a lot okay so let it load so you can see uh, these are commands like as blur check children clear click clock each uh, filter first get we'll use a couple of them don't worry but obviously uh, we will not be able to cover each and everything depends on your need you can start using them and this is actually your um, account so this is needed if you want to use the dashboard service by default it will not be logged in so I logged in with my account so you can create your account using GitHub, Google and a few other details. Just fill the form, your account will be ready. And once your account is ready, you can start using the dashboard service. Okay, so this all from the test runner side, nothing much here. And these are some standard options, guys. Okay, like file menu, edit views, uh, windows and again, same thing. Coming back to uh, interesting point here because this is here we will be spending most of our time so the first folder is the fixture and if you open this example.json file right now it has a json right it has name email and body so what exactly is fixture so in test automation we are not going to hard code any data okay so it's always recommended that in test automation you should take the data from external sources now this external sources could be your JSON file, just like this. It could be CSV or any other format that you're using. Take this data 
and start using in your test. So tomorrow, if any test data is changing, you don't have to modify your scripts. You don't have to modify your test. You will modify your test data. How we are going to use this? We will be using something called cy.fixture command, which will help you to get the data from fixture. Second is integration. As I showed you, this is just a folder um, or I will say a place where we will write our test cases. So it has some basic examples. If you want, you can leave them. Otherwise, you can delete these directories and create your own directory and you can start writing your test inside this directory. Now, if you talk about plugins, now, if you see this plugin, this plugin have one file called index.js file. So what exactly this plugin, you can say they're kind of a listener to you. So what Cypress does, it will automatically include this plugin file before running your test. So with the help of this plugin, you can extend the functionality or behavior of Cypress. Now, uh, if you talk about this, okay, let's open this. So suppose you want some plugins. So this is uh, the life cycle which they have modified and I want to show you list of plugins. Yes. So as you can see the list of plugins available which you can directly start using it. So with the help of this plugin you can um, actually extend the functionality behavior of Cypress. So you can see we have a couple of preprocessor, all these preprocessors, then we have development tools, all these plugins comes under development tools. Then we have a separate category for custom commands. Then, okay, here you can see something called uh, Cypress XPath. So by default, Cypress does not support XPath, but if you start using this plugin with a Cypress XPath, you can take advantage of XPath, okay? You can see Cypress wait until separate command, separate download files. So we are going to use these plugins. Then we have something called extending other testing frameworks. If you want to use other frameworks, you can take this plugin help. Again, these are related to authentication and this is related to tooling in the same way, component testing, visual testing, and these are for reporting. So we are going to use this uh, Mocha Awesome for reporting and Allure report is also available and this is related to email. So you can see now plugins are available. What you have to do, just use this plugin and take the advantage of these uh, plugins which is already available. No need to write much code. Each plugin has some configurations, how to use them for the guidelines and you will be able to use them. We are going to use a couple of plugins, but depends on your need. If certain plugin is available, start using it. You can also build your own plugin as well. Now coming back to support. So again, the support looks sometimes little confusing, but it's very, very easy with the help of this. Okay, let me delete this. Now this also have index.js file and plugin also have index.js, but they serve a different purpose. So uh, in the support package, you can write your customized command, okay, or some reusable methods, which will be available in your uh, test files that you will be writing. Okay, and these files will run before running your test files. So suppose if you want to create some reusable method, keep inside support package. Okay, and yeah, this is all. If you want to read about these configurations, you can do that. Now coming back to cypress.json file. Now this file is actually blank as of now, but here you can keep all the default. Sorry, if you want to override the configurations, you can do that. Like we have seen all these configurations, right? Timeout, base URL, the folders that we have to change, retry, etc. You can keep inside cypress.json file and your test will start using these configurations. Now this is packet.json file that we have created in the last video, right? So you need to create this package.json uh, package file and uh, we have added only one dev dependency as of now which is Cypress 9.2.1 in case if you add any other dependency it will come here and this is one of the command that we have override right by default it was something echo but we were facing some issue while opening Cypress so we have changed this to Cypress open 
So whenever you have to start Cypress now, you will be going to command prompt and just type npm uh, run test and the Cypress will open for you. Now the last file is package uh, log.json file. This is something is standard when you work with JavaScript projects. Okay. So even if you have worked with WebDriver IO, you must have seen the similar JSON file. Okay. So if you go with the official documentation, it is automatically generated for any operation where npm modify either the node modules or package.json file. Okay. So you are not going to use this. Uh, we will be playing uh, most of the time with cypress.json file, package.json file, and this will get automatically updated. And I showed you all the folders that we will be using. We will be using support package, sorry, support folder, plugins, integration, and fixture. And if needed, we'll create other files as well. Okay, so that's a quick tour about Cypress. I hope you got the overall uh, tour of this Cypress. In case, if you still have some doubts, let me know in the comment section. But if you help, uh, you know, if this video helped you in any manner, then do support this channel, share with your friends, click subscribe this channel. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. And just two points I want to highlight that this is the version that we are using, which is 9.2.1. But this will keep changing. So if you want to see what changes they have done, click on the change log and they have maintained a beautiful change log that what changes are happening in these releases okay so if you see a lot of release changes right they started with 0 0.5 dot okay this is the one 0 0.3.2 dot and see the history they have come a long way they made a lot of changes so this is the current version we have okay so if you are a guy who love reading change logs this would be one place we just check what changes they are you know introducing in the new versions and if something out of the box is coming in the new release you can implement easily in your current framework okay yeah so that's all from my side and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye, -bye.